So this is chapter four of cloning a fluorescent gene. And in today's lab, we're going to be doing transformation. Now, at the start of today's lab, we're going to be taking the bacteria, which is thawed on ice. You're taking your bacteria plate, or bacteria tube, and aliquoting 40 microliters out for your cell. It means you set at 20, and take, mix the bacteria a little bit, make sure it's nicely mixed, and take two 20 microliter aliquots. One, two. You can see it in the bottom of the tube there. Now, after you eject the tip, take your ligation reaction from lab three. You're going to be adding 10 microliters of your ligation reaction. So using a new tip, 10 microliters here. Add it into your bacteria. Pipetting up and down a little bit to mix them together. Inject your tip, cap your tube, and place it on ice for 20 minutes. Now that your bacteria have been sitting on ice for 20 minutes, you can remove them from ice and put them directly into a 42 degree water bath. We're going to be counting to 60. This is heat shocking the bacteria, getting them to take the plasmid DNA from outside of the bacterial cell wall, inside of the bacterial cell wall, so they can start using the DNA. Now that your time is up, you're going to be removing your tubes from the water bath, placing them directly back on ice. And when you're ready, take your first tube, with your bulb pipette, your SOX buffer, which does not contain an antibiotic, squeeze down the bulb to eject some air from it, and you're going to be pulling up 500 microliters. That's the second major tick mark. You can pull up a little air into the end of the. You can pull up a little air into the end of the pipette. Pop open your tube. And add your or add your SOX buffer on top of the bacteria. Cap it tightly and give it a couple flicks to mix it up. This tube is going to go in the incubator for at least two hours or overnight to recover the bacteria. At least two hours later, but probably the next morning, you're going to be ready to plate your bacteria out on your ampicillin and a ravenose agar plate. In order to do that, simply take your bacteria, <clears throat> invert a couple times to mix. You and your partner should have shared a transfer pipette to dish out your socks buffer last night or <clears throat> earlier today. Open your tube, squeeze down the transfer pipette, Suck up all of your bacteria, and then drop by drop, simply scatter the drops of bacteria around the agar plate. <clears throat> Let your partner use the bulk pipette after you're done. Take out a spreader. and simply work the bacteria into the agar. Helps to turn the plate. As you spread the agar into the plate, or sorry, spread the bacteria into the plate until it's all absorbed. <clears throat> when you think you've done enough spreading, throw your spreader away, put the cap back on your agar plate, 
Label it with your name. Okay. Notice that I labeled it on the agar side after flipping the plate upside down. And <clears throat> flip the plate back over. Let it sit for about one minute to have all of the liquid absorb into the agar. Then reflip the plate, put it into the 37 degree incubator overnight to let your colonies grow. Good luck.